like oh, like oh, like oh, like oh. y'all i'm up here cleaning out my tackle bag clean out this bag try to get everything out this bag into that one and um while i was doing it i was just gonna show y'all what i kept in my bag uh keep some pliers these another set of pliers in here keep some kind of pain peel i keep some snips i keep a knife or two on me keep a marker uh, i got a lot of corks here when I'm brim fishing or either if I want to put a uh, pop a cork for some uh, crappie that's some rod tips I had a few bass baits here but mainly I keep my uh, I got a bag of bass baits right here too but I got a lot of bad stuff and I don't keep all that stuff with me because most of them just crappie fishing but we got a lot of stuff in here some jigs, plastics I got uh, weights in there all kind of bad stuff uh, Y'all yeah, know I keep my snaps for my jigs. I got a lot of hooks here. Um, a lot of hooks there. Some of them bass hooks. Some crappie hooks. You know. And uh, some brim hooks also. These little ones here. Some little old bitter ones. And uh, keep some band-aids on me. Uh, here's a few hair jigs. Y'all yeah, know I keep my hair jigs in the box. I gotta go through and uh redo all my hair jig boxes. I need to put me some um some styrofoam in there so I can hook my jigs to it. These are some jigs that had fell out, some hair jigs that had fell out I had laying in the bag. I gotta get all my stuff together. These are some uh a lot of different kind of heads. A lot of different ones. I like that pink. That's a big one there. I don't how to use that one too much. Uh it's a white one. I never use white, but I, I keep it with me. Most time it's just these kind right here that I use. I like these too on the when I'm on the dam. If I'm trying to catch a uh a drum. Them drums like those. Uh over here some weights. I keep weights with me. I need them on the dam. Some more with loose ones in there. Got some little ones too. Some more in there. Uh, here some more jig heads. Sickle hooks. No, those aren't sickle hooks. I forgot what those, what those are. Oh, wide gap. The wide gap crappie hooks. You know, usually you just see wide gap um, bass hooks. Crappie hooks, I usually see sickle hooks, but these are wide gap crappie hooks. Right here we have some uh these stoppers and beads when I'm using a uh, a slip cork. I use these beads and these stoppers right here. It's just an old skirt for a uh, bass jig there. Uh I see some more uh corks. These crappie bites, these nibbles. Uh, I swear by these. I use these. I, I I think they work. What about y'all? Y'all think they make a difference? I think they make a difference when you tip it on that jig. Uh, some more uh, hair jigs. And these, I haven't used these before. But they're still in my box. I haven't used these either. And these Arky, I use these. These are good right here. These are called uh, Sexy Shad. That's a good color though. This one right here, I didn't use all these. And this is the, uh, they're just called Cajun Creek. 
It's just like that Bobby Garland uh, Cajun Cricket. And uh, one of my friends gave me these, these big bite baits. Uh, it's a triple tail uh, grub type bait. Two inch triple tail, pink and white. And he gave me those, some of those in there too. They triple tails. Yeah. Uh, some more hair jigs. Most of my hair jigs are in boxes, but these, I didn't want to take them all off. I didn't want to take them all out of the packaging. So I just leave them hooked to the package. Here's a bunch of plastics that I I don't I don't throw them away. I just keep all my plastics and if I need one of these and it's all tore up, I just super glue it back together and use it again because you never know when you'll run out of good bait and you can go through all your old ones and find one. You might be lost all your baits and that's the only color they hitting and you can go through these old ones and find an old one and you super glue it and you keep using it. Um what else? Uh some grubs here, zoom grubs. Uh, what is this? This motor oil? I'm not sure what the color is. It might be motor oil. Uh, over, what we got over here? These are some, uh, Constant Pursuit Outfitters. I haven't even used these yet. I'm going to be sure to use them, though. There's little frogs here. I've been wanting to try these, but I haven't got around to it. They look like it's pretty good bait there. Uh, I keep me some line. I have three boxes of uh, line here. Use that high vis. I keep me some super glue so I won't, you know, that fish won't keep tearing my baits up. Keep me some kind of scent. Uh, I know I don't get caught up in brands with the scent. I just, as long as I got some kind of scent. Uh, here's a few Southern Pro uh, jig. You see, I didn't. The last one in there, and it looked like it's been used. And uh, it's called Southern Pro sent me some jigs. I didn't uh, I didn't ask them for the send nothing. They they seen a video where I was using their jigs, and they sent me some. I do a video. Uh, they sent me a box of uh, a box of a lot of different plastics and jig heads, and uh. You know, I don't ask people for sponsorships or nothing like that. I'm not sponsored by them. They just sent me some jigs because they seen I was using their product, and I like it, and I actually use it. You know, some people just want sponsorships and don't even use products. Uh, <clears throat> I don't need sponsorships to send me no products. If I want to buy something that you're making, I'll just pay for it. I don't need you to send me free lures, but it's cool if you do, you know. But, you know, I'm not worried about that. These right here some crappie kings. Crappy Thunder, Electric Chicken. These, I really hadn't used those. Some grubs. I used these the other day. I caught a few on them. Uh, pumpkin seed grub. I haven't really used these right here. Or these. Look at this. Joker. Uh, Lightning Shad. And I've used these. I caught some on this one the other day. It's the same as the Bobby Garland um, Monkey Milk. But I didn't have the... Uh, these are a little firmer too than Bobby Garland's. There's some white, white grubs. Uh, some crappie max, some shad type jigs, some some tubes, some more tubes, some shad type baits. Uh, what is that? Uh, crystal minnow. Uh, uh, monkey milk. Uh, shad. Uh, curly tail minnow. Electric chicken, curly tail minnow. I had to use that color. That looked like a good color right there. And this is uh, what is that? Cajun bug. They're just kind of like that Bobby Garland uh, Cajun cricket. You see, I use those two left in there, and these are firmer than the uh, Bobby Garland. You know, the Bobby Garland's kind of soft. These are a little firmer. All right, next we got some uh, some tubes here. I don't even know the name of them. 
Cause I, I opened them up and I, I lost the name of them. Some more tubes and a few more different baits in there. And some of these Bobby Garland baits I got here, they was on sale. Some of them was like a dollar a pack at a, a local store. You know, I bought them. I never tried these. I like the, the way the little jig is made. You can see it right there. got red thunder caught some on red thunder before uh crystal lamb this is one of my favorites it catches a lot of fish blue thunder is another favorite i catch a lot of fish on blue thunder uh this red uh chartreuse silver i haven't caught many on it but i keep it uh this one i caught uh, some i caught some big crappie on this one not a lot but some big ones uh, Vegas lamb. I haven't caught any on it. The green hornet. I haven't really used it either. Monkey milk. That's another favorite. This is a good jig. Real good one. Bayou booger. I haven't caught many on it. Uh, I bought this one because I like the way it looked, but I haven't really used it too much. I caught a few on it. This was electric chicken. You see it. Most of those are gone, and the ones that are in there, the electric chickens that are in there, they've been used, so I like the electric chicken. And it's the Moglo, Moglo electric chicken. Cajun Cricket, very good uh, color for me. It's real good. Uh, what we got here, red, uh, chartreuse, silver. I haven't used these too much. Some of these, like I say, some of these I just bought because they were cheap. Uh, right here, uh, silverfish, minnow. Haven't really used these. And by the way, if y'all watching this video and you use some of these bait, let me know if they good so I can try them. I'm just, I, I pick up the stuff that I normally do good with and it's hard for me to try something new. Right here, Moglo, uh, Electric Chicken, Slab Slab. I just bought these the other day, some uh, Blue Thunder. They didn't have a regular Shad Blue Thunder, and I didn't want to order them. I needed them right then. I didn't feel like ordering them off the internet, so I just bought these, these longer ones. They're a little longer and have a different tail than the regular Shads. And uh, some Bobby Garland uh, Crystal Lamb. You see these are good. All I got is one left. Over here, these just the Panfish Assassin. Yeah, I know Panfish Assassin. I'm not going to go through all of them. These are Panfish Assassin. Uh, those are Curly Tails there. Curly Tail Shads. That's Electric Chicken there. You see, I use those. You know. Some old bait and some glue in there, super glue. And while I'm over on this side, I keep uh, I keep the Louisiana regulations book in there in case the uh, game warden stop me. He tried to tell me something that's not right that I'm doing, and I know it's right. I can just show him right there. It's a a head piece for the GoPro. I keep usually keep gloves, some kind of gloves. I keep a trash bag with me. So I can, uh, if it start raining, I cover my bag up so everything don't get wet. And uh, I keep my uh, keep it on me. You know, you never know what you're gonna see. You might see Bigfoot out there. You gotta protect yourself. These are some crawfish style uh, jigs there. There's two more of them. Uh, some Arky, uh tubes. All right, what else I went over? I got jig heads. Uh, keep a scale, keep a scale in case you get a big fish. You want to know who extra uh, shells. Uh, this bag here is uh, it's bad stuff in there. I got a lot of bad stuff, but I ain't no need to keep all of it with me because I ain't gonna never need all of it at one time. Uh, here's one of my uh, hair jig boxes. 
You see everything needs to be, I need to get all this stuff uh, organized. Yep, all my jigs. I need to get this stuff organized. And there's just some old bunch more plastics. These jigs right here, a guy in the, uh, a guy was in the lake one day. He said he watched our videos. And I didn't get his name, but I got him on camera. I did get his name, and I got it on camera. I got his name, but he gave he gave me these, and I hadn't had time to use them. You know, you see, he got the weed guards on. He gave me another one, but my dad got it in his uh. He was using it the other day. It was a hair jig he made with the weed guards on. But I'm going to try them. If you're watching this video, I'm going to use them. I'm going to use them. I got to get my box situated. I'll let y'all see when I get it situated. These right here come from uh those. I caught some on that one the other day. Those come from Jigonomics. Jigonomics Outdoors. You find them on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. That right there is a little dirty, but that's one of my hottest jigs right there. Catch a lot of fish on that jig. They're great. Uh... Some little stuff in there. These are some. That's uh, I think that was Bass Pro Shop brand. That all black one. A lot of this Bass Pro Shop. Uh, yeah, a lot of these jigs in here was made by uh, a local company and some. These like these was made by Fearless Jigs. You can find him Zach at Fearless Jigs. You can find him on Instagram. And these right here. Not that one. Uh, like that one. If I can get it loose. That's why I gotta get my uh my stuff right. Give me a minute. Those right there was made by those like that was made by Jig and Jerry. And those were made by uh with the two tails on it. Uh his name is Wheelchair Man on uh Instagram. I can't think of his real name right now. But yeah, I'll be all day showing these jigs, but let's look at some of them. I got another box. Let me get the other box. Plastic, these are some Southern Pro. Like I told you, I use them. I don't just like the the guy sent me an email and he asked me if I wanted if I wanted some uh some samples because he saw I was really using their jigs and he sent me some and I appreciate them and they're gonna be staying in the bowl. It's a whole box I'm gonna show y'all and like I say I'm not sponsored nothing by them. I wasn't looking to be sponsored but they just sent me some some jigs another bait good bait that's a good bait some snaps you know I keep snaps on me that's a is that a spoon I don't know if that's a spoon or what is that a little spinner that's one of my good baits right there. Real good. Yeah, I gotta get this stuff organized, y'all. I'm not gonna be able to do the boxes today. But um I'm gonna do these another day. But I just had to I just had to get everything out that bag and get it ready for that bag. But that's what's in my box, y'all. And it gets heavy. I'm about to put all these plastics. I don't like putting my plastics in boxes like these. I'm going to take these plastics. I got me some Ziplocs there. I'm about to put all the Bobby Garlands in one and, you know, separate them like that. And, uh, I might, I don't know if I put these corks in a box. It got four boxes came with this. I don't know if I'm going to use those or what. These four big boxes. I don't know what I'm going to do. I could put those corks in, you know, take out one of those and put the corks, you know, 
but I might just put them in the ziplock, y'all, make it more easy. But anyway, that's what we got. That's what I, I have in my box. I'm about to make another video. I'm gonna show y'all the uh, the Southern Pro uh, Southern Pro box that he sent me. I'll make another video. I got a few more uh, poles I got in, and a couple more uh, reels. And uh, I'm about to make a video and show you my five top baits for any time in the summer, winter, spring. Five baits I like that I catch fish on year round. I'm going to show you that video. And uh, as always, y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, and uh, I'm I'm, I'm going to put this at the beginning of the video. Um, if, you, if you guys got anything you want to send me, like baits or anything, uh, send them to uh, It's a Crappy Life. And it, uh, you can send the P.O. Box. It's P.O. Box 512, Campton, Louisiana, 71411. It'll be in the, the, the uh, description box. If you guys want to send me a jig that you want you want me to use or try it out or anything else, uh, fishing related or anything, hunting related, anything, cooking related, a pan or, you know, something, you know, anything. But uh, as always, like, comment, comment and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.